Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be riding my 2017 Kona Fire Mountain and we're just going to go explore. So before I get on and ride, I thought I'd show you guys how many stickers I have on my bike. Thank you, Dad. Oh, forgot to set my Strava. Gotta pull over. I decided to stop at the yellow chairs. I've been riding mountain bikes for quite some time now, but I've never had a dropper post until this year. My KS dropper post. I'm still trying to get used to it. Sometimes I fall over, but it's okay. Right next to a highway. I'm thinking I'm gonna head up that way and see what's up there. I haven't been up there for a little while. It's probably nothing cool, but I'll still record it. So I'm about halfway to Sprout Lake Provincial Park. I didn't think I rode that far, but I guess I did. I think I'm gonna try to ride the whole way there. Why not? It's actually not that bad out. Bike feels great. I got some cookies in case I get hungry, got some water. We're doing it. I'm not tired. <laughs> Let's go. It's a really nice ride, just for a road ride. There's not that many trails out where I live. I usually go biking in Cumberland, BC, but I don't live in Cumberland, so this is what gotta do for now. Well guys, I did it. I rode all the way from my house to Sprout Lake Provincial Park. Oh, it wasn't that bad. I thought it was going to be a lot harder actually. Okay, I'm going to take a break for probably 10 minutes and then I'm going to head home. switched my bike to a one by a few months ago and there's a big difference. Going up hills is a lot easier now that I've got some of that extra weight off and it's just more convenient. <laughs> I made it home. I'm very, very, very tired. It's not that it was a long ride, it's just there were a lot of hills. <sighs> but it was fun. I'm gonna do it again. <sighs> That's all for today's video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and have a Gucci day. Adios, amigos.